Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Illinois Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. We are really excited you are here. Before we get started, we do have a few housekeeping items to note. First, if you have any questions at all, feel free to use the Q&A button to type in your questions to the presenters at any time. They are there, ready and available to answer any questions you have throughout the presentation. Your camera and microphone are off. You are muted and your video is off. The panelists can't see or hear you. There are more sessions happening. So if you are interested in hearing from other schools, feel free to sign up for other sessions at the next time slot where you registered for this one. And lastly, this recording will be available a week from today. All sessions are being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Illinois. We are in session D2, right where my mouse is circling. And at this time, without further ado, I'll get out of the way and introduce our first representative from the Universe, Universal Technical Institute. Hi, I'm Derek Kiefer. I'm with Universal Technical Institute, the NASCAR Technical Institute, and the Motorcycle Marine Mechanics Institute. We are a true technical school. Uh, you don't have to take the traditional uh, math, history, science, English types of classes at our college. Uh, you do get college credits. We have associate's degree in applied science with automotive technology as your major, and we have diploma certificate programs. We uh, primarily uh, train for the transportation industry with automotive, diesel. Uh, we have collision repair and refinishing. We have motorcycle training programs, marine. We like to be on the water with boats. We also have uh, welding and CNC machining programs. I'm going to share my screen and do uh, a video, which is going to have a uh, little overview of all of our different programs. We are for success of the hands-on heroes, the mechanical geniuses, the fixers of broken things, the ones who make what goes wrong right. Because without them, the world literally stops moving. Yes, we're for their success which is why we've partnered with leading automotive, diesel, motorcycle, collision repair, marine, CNC, and welding companies to create state-of-the-industry facilities throughout the nation and to ensure our students learn the technical and professional skills they need in the way they learn best, hands-on. Are you one of these hands-on heroes? We have a variety of programs to choose from. In Universal Technical Institute's Automotive Technology Program, you can learn how to diagnose, maintain, and repair domestic and foreign automobiles. You'll find out how to troubleshoot problems of all kinds using engine analyzers, handheld scanners, and other computerized diagnostic equipment. After completing UTI's diesel technology program, you'll be prepared to work on everything from big trucks and corporate fleets to farm equipment and more. You'll start with basic diesel engines and work hands-on through all major areas like transmissions, fuel systems, air brakes, chassis, climate control, and preventive maintenance. In the collision repair program, you can learn about welding, frame alignment, mechanical and electrical repair, custom paint and body applications, and factory painting. In the new welding program, you can prepare for a career making sparks fly cutting, shaping, fusing, and repairing everything from buildings and bridges to pipelines, power plants, vehicles, and even aircraft. You can even choose the NASCAR Technology Program in Mooresville, North Carolina, where you can learn things like engines, fabrication, welding, aerodynamics, and pit crew. In the new CNC machining program, you'll get the skills you need to drill, mill, grind, route, and cut parts with laser precision. For everything from high-performance engines and medical equipment to aircraft components and industrial applications. At Motorcycle Mechanics Institute, you can learn how to work on everything from street bikes and dirt bikes to racing bikes to the hottest Harleys on the road. At Marine Mechanics Institute, you can work on everything from stern drive, inboard gas and diesel engines to outboard two-stroke and four-stroke motors to prepare for a career on the water. The choice is yours. There will be 1.2 million auto and diesel technician job openings by 2026. Get there. Faster. Smarter. Universal Technical Institute. We're for success. Your success. 
Our closest campus is in Lyle, Illinois, which is in the suburbs of Chicago. Uh, we are a hands-on technical school. We're an official STEM college. We're also a school of excellence from our accreditation body. So we're really proud of that. Um, we start campus uh, classes every month, all year round. We graduate all year round. So we don't have the big summer breaks like the traditional colleges. So you can start our graduate this summer, uh, start our college in uh, August and graduate next August already. After our core auto or diesel or motorcycle or different training programs, you can get factory certifications. We are the exclusive training partner for Mercedes-Benz in North America. Uh, we're the only Porsche training in North America at the college level. Uh, we do all Peterbilt dealer training, Ford World curriculum just for our school system. We've trained over 28,000 technicians with Ford factory certifications. We also have GM, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, El Primero. We've got uh, BMW since 1995. We are the largest technical training force in the transportation industry in the United States. I wanna show you one more quick little video, which is uh, what some of our employers say about our graduates, and then we'll wrap it up. The manufacturers would consider this a crisis right now as far as the shortage of technician goes. It's a demand for people who have the skills and ability to be able to diagnose these highly complex vehicles the amount of service business we're expecting to see in the next three years. We don't have the manpower to get it done. Every day we're looking to bring on more technicians that are qualified. One of the biggest reasons we go to UTI is because of the quality of students we get from there. These students are ready to work. When they come out of here, they're trained in the same work environment that our shops are. We hire a lot of UTI students. We've hired close to 40 guys out of the GM program in the last three years. We're currently about 50% UTI grads in all of Northwest Hamlin. I've hired over 260 UTI graduates. I find them to be a lot more prepared for the industry, and especially if they take a manufacturer's course before they leave. We especially love the manufacturer programs. If they have a desire for racing and engines, coupled with their education at UTI, uh, we know that we've got a winner. That's the individual that we want to put in our company and help them grow and thrive and develop a career. UTI is a good option. Not everybody wants an office job. I always had an interest for cars and I just wanted to take it to the next level. You're always learning something new and that's what I love about it. Definitely the schooling was worth it. I would do it again. UCI gives you a lot of resources to get a job. You feel pretty comfortable when you leave MMI and you go to a dealership. It feels like you just walked out of school's dealership into an actual real life dealership. When you need job placement and you need help with that stuff, they're there to support it. I think if they were to look at the income potential right out of school, I think they would feel that it was a wise investment. You can definitely make money here. Technicians start around $15 an hour and go up from there. You get into my main service shop, you're in the $30 range. Our average master level technician makes about $110,000 a year. When you can make six figures as a mechanic, we all benefit from that. We have a lot of benefits. We offer up to $22,000 of tuition reimbursement, as well as $2,000 in tool allowance. If we find somebody we like and they need a few thousand dollars to help move and relocate, uh, we're more than happy to do that. When we find the guy we like, we're not gonna let a little bit of money get in the way of hiring him. So, so we're not as concerned about the academic requirements. Uh, we are a private school, so we have open enrollment. Uh, you would go through an interview process. We still qualify for FAFSA, WIOA training grants. Uh, again, we are a school of excellence under accreditation. So I'll be following up the people that express an interest in our programs, or you can always reach out to www.uti.edu, request information, and we'll get back to you. Great. Thank you. The next presenter is from Cardinal Strench University. Hello everyone, I'm going to be sharing my screen. All right, so I am from Cardinal Stritch University. We are located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, we are a small private institution. Um, our student population is overall around 1500 students. Um, this does include our graduate students that are seeking um, graduate master's and doctorate degrees. Um, just fun stuff to learn about Stritch. Uh, we have a very diverse campus, as you can see um, on your screens. Uh, we host typically over 200 international students um, each semester on our campus. Um, so they represent around 44 different countries. Uh, 
being the small institution that we are, we have a small student to faculty ratio of 10 to one. Um, and we are, uh, we are one of the safest campuses in the area as well. Um, we are just outside of downtown Milwaukee uh, by about 10 minutes and we are just a short five minute drive from the lake. Um, and 100% of our full-time undergraduate students receive some sort of aid. I did wanna to touch on our alumni. 98.4% of our students are employed or enrolled in graduate programs within six months after graduation. And you can see the top five employers um, for our students once they graduate. 94% uh, of our students do partake in um, internship experiences, whether it be um, student teaching hours or if they are looking to go into medical school, clinical hours as well. Um, and we do rank as the third highest salary after attending. We do have athletics at Stritch. Um, if you are interested in playing a sport, continuing to play it after high school, um, we are part of the NAIA Chicagoland Conference. Um, so this means we play in the Chicagoland area um, and being part of the NAIA does allow us to uh, go ahead and award athletics scholarship to all of our uh, recruits. So if that is something that you're interested in, go ahead and let us know and we can go ahead and get you in contact with one of our coaches. This is particularly um, applicable if you are a current junior rising senior. Um, they may want to start getting uh, to your games or anything like that, any videos that you can provide. I did touch on the fact that 100% of our students do receive financial aid. Um, we have different scholarships and grants available. Um, all of our accepted students will receive uh, some level of the Franciscan Heritage Scholarship. So right now we have that ranging from 15,000 all the way up to $22,000 automatically per year um, upon acceptance. So if you have questions about that scholarship, go ahead and let me know. Um, we also have a campus visit grant. So for students that do set up a visit, whether it's individual or they attend an on-campus event or a virtual event, they will go ahead and receive the campus visit grant. Uh, we do have a couple full tuition opportunities. Um, those are invitation only and additional materials may be required. If you do attend a um, Catholic high school, we do offer the Timothy M. Dolan scholarship. We do have visual and performing arts scholarships as well. Like I mentioned, athletic scholarships. And if you had an immediate family member attend Stritch, you would also get a scholarship for that as well. Um, there is a ton of different other scholarship opportunities as well. So if that's something that you want to discuss, just go ahead and let us know. Um, for the application, um, our application uh, is free. You don't have to pay a fee to apply. We are also available on Common App as well. So if you're interested in us, you'll find us on both of those platforms. Um, all we will need is your high school, official high school transcripts. We did make the move to test optional um, and we are reviewing applications in a holistic manner. So if you had a rough year, your GPA doesn't reflect you truly as a student, um, then we may request some additional materials from you in order to just get a little bit more information as well. All of our programs are direct entry. Um, so you will start taking classes in your desired major right away your freshman year. You do not have to do two years of um, core requirements um, or general education courses. Those are embedded as you are taking courses relevant to your major. Uh, we will off, um, accept the ACT or the SAT if you wanna go ahead and double check if um, it would increase your scholarship. So if that's something that you're interested in submitting, go ahead and let me know. We will consider AP and IB courses, um, or we will evaluate any college credit um, that you may have from other institutions. So what's next? Um, just keep on the lookout, start inquiring, um, sending me emails. Uh, we can set up Zoom phone calls or, um, you know, voice phone calls um, to just get your answer, your questions answered. Uh, you start thinking about that FAFSA that will be coming up in October. Uh, make sure that you schedule an opportunity to come visit the campus. Um, you can scan this QR code um, and start receiving information as well um, or inquire about a specific program that you may be interested in. 
our top three programs are business, nursing, and education. We have seen a rise in computer science, criminal justice, um, and any pre-professional program. So students interested in going to medical school, dentistry school, uh, PA, PT. Um, so if you're interested in any of those majors, feel free to um, let me know in the chat. Uh, if you want to ask a private question, you can send me a message privately as well. Um, here is my contact information for students that are interested um, in just getting to know a little bit more about me. Um, I do have another colleague on um, as well. Her name is Heidi and Sira. Um, if you do have any questions, her contact information is um, on the screen as well. I hope to be hearing from you um, in the chat. Very helpful, thank you. Um, and as stated, uh, just a friendly reminder that if you have any questions, um, feel free to submit those through the Q&A. Um, every uh, representative is there and ready to answer your questions. Our next presenter is from Trinity, Trinity Christian College. You're on mute. I remember to put my video on, but not unmute. <laughs> so my name is Michelle, and I'm an admissions representative from Trinity Christian College. Um, so I just have some slides to walk you through here. So first, our enrollment, we have about 1,000 students. Um, our average class size is 20, which as a student, when I went to Trinity, was super helpful. A lot of my classes were even smaller. So you have so much one-on-one -on -one professor time that it helps out a ton. Um, so our student to faculty ratio is 10 to one. And then also a cool fact, we have 100% of our students who do either an internship or field placement just to get you prepared for the workforce. So we are in Payless Heights, Illinois. We are a small suburban town, uh, takes about 30 minutes to get to Chicago. Um, I mean, as you can see on this picture, a bunch of trees. So Trinity used to be a golf course. So that's kind of the vibe. We have some hills and a bunch of trees and there are so many trails around us if you're into that. So we were actually just voted the safest college in the whole state of Illinois. Um, so if that's one of your concerns, we are incredibly safe, but we also do have access to a huge city like Chicago. We have about 70 to 80 programs of study. Um, and we also have a lot of off-campus programs. So you can do Chicago semester. A lot of my friends lived downtown Chicago for a semester um, and had an internship there. And then also studying abroad. So for me personally, I studied abroad in Spain for a semester and Ecuador in a, for a semester. So if you have specific questions about that, I can definitely be your go-to, um, but yeah, anywhere you wanna go in the world pretty much is available to you. Um, my education friends went to Australia to student teach, a couple went to Thailand, so a lot of opportunities for you there. So not gonna take a lot of time on these. These are just some of our majors. Um, and just to note, we do have adult studies and graduate degrees as well. All right, so our top three um, majors are on the screen here. So nursing, education, and business are what we are well known for. Um, and social work is creeping up there now too. So for nursing, we are the number one in the state of Illinois, and we have been for the past two years. So we have a 100% NCLEX pass rate, which is incredible. All of our students pass the NCLEX, so then they get to go on and be a nurse. Uh, same with our education, the ed TPA is 100% pass rate. Um, and then for business, we have an incredible partnership with 1871, which is an entrepreneurial space in downtown Chicago. And then if there's any academic support you need, completely free to students, we have tutoring available, we have the writing center so you can get your paper all formatted to get that A. So these are actually all people I went to school with. Uh, Cassandra here, I studied social work and she went to the University of Michigan um, and that is the number one social work grad program in the whole country. 
So student activities, we have a bunch of activities every year. We have a whole board on student activities and they are dedicated to having you know, at least one event every weekend because we love when our students stay on campus. Um, and we have a bunch of clubs, any club you can kind of think of. And we also love having students come up with their own club. Um, we also do have athletic teams. I did play volleyball at Trinity. Um, we are part of the CCAC, so we are with Cardinal Stritch. Um, so we play a lot of close games to us in the Chicagoland area, which is great as an athlete to not travel so far. And our dorms are suite style. So you have three other roommates um, and you just share a bathroom. And then in terms of spiritual formation, we are Christian college. So we have a bunch of campus ministries. Um, we have chapel twice a week, which is not required. Um, we have outcry, which is completely student led worship, um, dorm Bible studies, men's and women's ministries, anything you can think of really. So our financial aid packages have been super great. I've been working at Trinity for two years and we're just giving some really good aid out these past couple of years. Um, the average gift aid is 24,000 for freshmen. Um, and as you can see here, 94% of Trinity students do receive aid. Um, so a bunch of scholarships are available, academic, athletic, major based, residency based. Um, and we also, I want to share, we do have a campus visit award. So we want you to come to campus and you get money for coming to campus. So next steps are really, if you're a senior, um, you can submit your application at trnty.edu slash apply, um, and you can submit your transcripts. We do not need your ACT or SAT this year, just due to the coronavirus. Um, but yeah, that is all I have. I was not timing myself. Maybe I talked super fast, but thanks so much, guys. Thank you, we really appreciate it. The next representative is from Western Illinois University. Good evening, I'm just gonna share my screen here. Our Western identity. We in teaching tradition. The desire to impact lives through education marks our Western identity. We believe every student with the hope to succeed deserves a chance at our institution. We're invested in honing each student's individual strengths to turn that hope into promise. Our commitment shows in everything that we do. It guides our faculty with empathy. It grows our students with courage. It moves each of us with purpose. In Macomb and Quad Cities, all walks of life meet to share cultures, ideas, and aspirations. Together, our students welcome new perspectives, helping them bring true value wherever they go next. Whatever the next challenge or change we face, our fighting spirit strengthens and evolves. With fortitude, we remain devoted to our vision. Brave and loyal, we stand as Leathernecks. For our students, for our region, for our state, and beyond. And when we stand together, we stand up for what matters, going forth as one. And that unity takes us far beyond what we've ever imagined. Okay. Sorry about that, just having a small technical issue here. Yeah. Are you looking to get to your slides? 
Yeah, I'm trying to get to the tab there. I can't get the top thing to, to get out of the way there. <laughs> um, do you have your slides um, in a different? Sorry, usually that disappears and I can get to it. No, you're fine. Um, do you want to go ahead and let the next representative go and you can finish your half at the end? Uh, hold on one second. I hold on one second here. I got it. Uh, should have it now here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. All right. So sorry. Good afternoon. Good evening. My name is Michael Grzeski. I'm an admissions counselor with Western Illinois University, and uh, Sarah Gibson is along with me here at Western Illinois. So please. Uh, utilize one of us uh, with any questions that you may have. Just to talk a little bit about Western here this evening, Western Illinois actually has two uh, campuses. Our main campus is in Macomb, Illinois. Uh, it has all four residential halls, uh, and uh, it is a considered then, of course, a residential campus. Our other campus is within the Quad Cities area, Moline, Illinois, which of course is a, an urban setting campus um, and uh, is also a um, commuter campus because there are no residential halls there on, on the campus. Um, when you look at the numbers here on the screen, these are numbers that should jump out at you if you are looking at a mid-sized state university uh, with the total enrollment, the average class size, student to faculty ratio, and also a university where you're going to get a lot of access to your professors with the percentage of classes that are taught by full-time faculty. Um, as far as applying to Western, uh, I will tell you that you know we are uh, test optional, but also too um, is that you can self-report your high school GPA or send an official transcript, 2.75 or higher GPA will uh, get you accepted automatically. Anything uh, below that at a 2.0 to 2.7.4, um, you will be asked to send in a, an official transcript, test scores if you do have them, uh, and also a letter of recommendation and or a um, letter of intent. Uh, as far as cost at Western Illinois University right now, you can see it's at 21524 for the year. The four-year cost guarantee, I just want to point that out to you, is that you can actually lock in your tuition, fees, dorm room, meal plan, uh, after from year one all the way through year four. So even though tuition may increase each year for incoming classes, once you're in, you can lock that in for your four years. Uh, the FAFSA, of course, is what you need to apply to us to know what your grants and additional assistance will be. Our average financial aid package, as you can see there, is at 17,646. So when you subtract that from the 21,524 and you come up with the difference, that's the average cost out of pocket a student is paying right now to attend Western Illinois University. Um, as far as scholarship opportunities, when a student applies, uh, they are automatically reviewed for our Western Commitment Scholarships, ranging from three to 8,000 per year. We also have location-based scholarships. Uh, we also have alumni scholarships for students that apply, indicating that they have a grandparent or parent that graduated from Western. If you visit campus physically or do one of our virtual presentations, you would get a, a Living Act Visitor Scholarship for that, valued at $1,000 for your freshman year. And when you're accepted to Western, you have additional foundation scholarships that you can not apply for. Um, these next two screens here are just showing some of our uh, different of our 60 majors that we offer at Western. While we're definitely well known for areas in uh, law enforcement and justice administration, we're also well known in agriculture, business, sports broadcasting, musical theater, nursing, and many other outstanding programs. But we also have new majors in actuarial science, educational studies, public health, as well as minors in American Sign Language uh, can cannabis production. Uh, we are a Division, Division I institution. Um, we also have plenty of organizations and other things to do on campus as well. Um, we have plenty of support on campus as well, University Counseling Center and a multicultural center that, that celebrates our diverse student body. And if you do come to uh, decide to apply to Western, just go to our website here, go to that Apply Now button, click it and apply. There's a $30 application processing fee, but we do have times where it will be free. And of course, follow us on social media. Uh, that is all the time that I have. So thank you very much. Sorry for the technical difficulty and I yield my time. Thank you, we really appreciate it. Um, before we hear from our next two representatives, I do wanna send another friendly reminder that if you have any questions to feel free to submit those through the Q&A. The next representative is from the University of Dayton. Hi. Thank you so much, Catherine. Uh, good evening. My name is Erin Sarush. I am one of two regional enrollment managers that are based in the Chicago area and recruit um, Illinois. Uh, the other is Amy Hayes, who is also here with us this evening. Um, we are happy to help you through this process um, and here for you to answer your questions both tonight and beyond. Um, so let's get started. So 
Um, we are, a, the University of Dayton is located in Dayton, Ohio. We are a top tier Catholic Marianist university committed to a diverse and inclusive environment. Um, we're committed to educating each student as a whole person. This means we empower students to learn, lead, and serve so our graduates can lead fulfilling lives and make a difference in the world. Uh, we do have about 8,000 students, undergrad students on our campus with a total population just over 11,000 with graduate students. So we are a mid-sized university. Uh, just over half the student body reports to be out of state. Um, so we do have about 40 states represented and nearly 60 countries. So very geographically diverse campus. Um, about 20% report to be multicultural students. About 10% of that are students who are international. Um, so we're pretty proud of uh, those numbers as well. Too far. Um, so we think that we like to think that we, um, as a mid-sized university, have the facilities and state of the state of the art facilities of a large university, um, but the feel of a smaller campus. So you're going to find um, Fortune 500 research facilities on our campus. We are a top tier Catholic university um, in engineer or in sponsored engineering research. 10% um, in top 10% in teacher education in the nation. So a lot of great opportunities for our students to engage and get hands on experience. We do have nearly 80 academic programs in four colleges, Arts and Sciences, School of Business, School of Education and Health Sciences and the School of Engineering. Uh, probably most well known for engineering, business, um, and the health sciences. We did recently add a nursing program, which is highly competitive. Um, you can find a full list on our website, of course, um, and they are all directed at programs as well. Um, so we are, you know, not, we're also a home. This is where you're going to live and spend four years of your time. Um, you're going to build a community, which is what University of Dayton is really known for. Nearly 85% of our student body lives on campus all four years. And that's primarily because the university owns 400 houses in our student neighborhoods. So as a junior and senior student, you will have the opportunity to live in one of those houses with your friends right on campus. Makes for a really engaged and active campus community. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of academic focus at the University of Dayton, but there's also a lot to do outside the classroom. Um, we do have nearly 300 clubs and organizations. We have about 30 club sports offered that are competitive. So they do compete against other schools, club teams. So there's some travel involved and things like that. Um, and then we do offer about 17 division one sports. Um, so we do have that division one feel, um, lots of energy and excitement around our athletic programs, particularly basketball. Um, so uh, students are really engaged in those and are active. Um, intramurals are hugely popular as they are on most college campuses. Um, we do offer Greek life. About 20% of the student body is involved in Greek life. So not the only way to engage, but certainly a great way to engage socially. Uh, we have one of the um, largest campus ministry departments on a college campus. So they're going to help students of all faith backgrounds find a way to practice their faith if they're looking for that. We offer a variety of retreat opportunities as well as service. Service and social justice really drives what we're doing on campus. Um, so they have plenty of opportunities for you to engage with those as well. Our multi-ethnic engagement and education center provides space for our multicultural students um, to gather and engage as well as they provide opportunities for all students to learn and engage um, through social justice activities, educational activities, and a lot of fun too. So there's lots happening at the University of Dayton uh, outside the classroom as well. A lot of ways to learn. Um, so we're really proud of our success rate. Um, which when this slide was created was 97%. I think what we're most proud of is uh, from our recent survey of our um, 2020 graduates is that the success rate is 93%, um, which in 2020 feels very fabulous. Um, that means that within six months of graduation, 93% of our graduates were employed full time, doing a year of service or in graduate school. So in the year that 2020 was, 93% feels pretty amazing. And our graduation rate is roughly 82%. So, um, you know, in four years, our students are finishing and going on to do really great things. And career services is a fantastic opportunity for you to engage um, as early as your freshman year to find out um, how to, you know, brand yourself, work on a resume, do interview practice, things like that. So there's a lot of ways to um, help yourself get there. Uh, University of Dayton is pretty unique in that we freeze our net tuition. 
So you're going to pay the same net tuition cost all four years. We have no fees, so no lab fees, graduation fees, orientation fees. And if you engage with us either by visiting campus or doing a virtual visit, as well as completing the FAFSA in your senior year, you'll receive a textbook scholarship uh, for $4,000, so $500 a semester for textbook. Um, these are some notes that um, will really apply more for you next year. What I wanna make sure to mention is that um, we are offering a junior visit night um, on April 22nd at 7 p.m. It's a virtual event. We aren't um, offering in-person visits for juniors right now, but hope to this summer. Um, please feel free to ask any questions um, should you have any. Thank you. Thank you. So much helpful information shared by everyone so far. Um, and so our uh, next presenter is last, but certainly not least, is from DePaul University. Hi everyone, uh, thanks for being here. My name is Mary, I'm an admission counselor at DePaul University. I'm also an alumni. I'm going to go through my presentation, talk a little bit about student life, academics, and then the application process. Uh, starting off, some fun facts and figures about DePaul. We were founded way back when in 1898. We were only about 100 students at the time and we've grown quite a bit since then. So now we're at about 16,000 undergraduate students. Um, and while we have a large student body, um, we still get a lot of personal experience, a uh, very close knit community, and a lot of um, connection with your professors and classmates and whatnot. I'll talk about that on the next slide. Uh, we are the nation's largest Catholic university. Roughly 30% of our students identify as Catholic, but then we also have 30 other religious organizations represented on campus. So we're very open, welcoming campus uh, at DePaul here. Like I was saying, large student body, about 16,000 undergrad students, but we still on average have class sizes of about 22 students. So our ratio of students to professors is 16 to one. Um, we have over 300 different academic programs that you could get involved in that you could, you know, double major in, major and minor in. Uh, so I definitely recommend checking out our website to see all the different things that we have offered. See if anything piques your interest. Before I dive into a little bit more about academics though, I will mention to Paul, we're a little bit unique in that we are on a quarter system versus semesters. So what that means is um, students, a typical full-time student is gonna take three quarters throughout the year. So fall, winter, spring. And it sets student up for a nice break there in between. So we start in September, right after Labor Day. We go right up until Thanksgiving. Then you have from Thanksgiving till New Year's off as your winter break. So again, really nice long winter break. You don't have to worry about going back to finals after um, Thanksgiving or anything like that. You can just enjoy you know, your time at home, your time off. We start uh, right after New Year's in January, go to about mid-March, have that week off for spring break. And then from uh, the end of March to about the first or second week of June is our spring quarter. So we work a little bit differently than the semester system, but our students uh, always have positive things to say about it. Also, um, within a quarter, an average student is going to be taking four classes that meet twice a week for an hour and a half each. So either on Mondays and Wednesdays or Tuesdays and Thursdays. So what that means is Fridays are pretty rare to have classes. Um, so uh, students really like to take advantage of those three-day weekends. They'll go out exploring the city um, or take up internship opportunities, job opportunities, whatnot. So that's another fun, fun fact about DePaul is uh, three-day weekends are pretty common for students. Now going back a little bit to academics. So these are all of our different schools um, and colleges that we have our majors hosted out of. For incoming undergraduate students, you would most likely be uh, interested in schools from the College of Business down to the School of Music. Those last two are mostly for adult students, but um, they are included on that list. So again, I recommend checking out our website, seeing all of our different offerings. Um, one other thing about DePaul is there's a lot of flexibility with what you study. So um, let's say you come in as a business major but want to switch over to science and health. You can definitely do so. Most students don't have to decide your major till the end of your sophomore year. So lots of time to try out classes, see what really piques your interest and go from there. 
Now, DePaul, we are uh, located in the heart of Chicago. We have two main campuses. Uh, there's one in Lincoln Park, which is going to be your more traditional feel. It's a bit more spread out. There's green space, you know, a quad, things like that. Um, and then we have one location downtown at the Loop, um, which is in the heart of the campus, or sorry, the heart of the, the city. It is our vertical campus, we, we call it. It's basically four skyscrapers, you know, four city blocks by four city blocks. So you kind of get the best of both worlds at DePaul. You get that downtown feel, but then also that more traditional campus as well. It's really easy to get in between the two spots too. Um, as you can see on this slide here in the bottom right hand corner, there's a uh, corner, there's the train. So all of our full time students get a Ventura U pass that you can use 24 seven, seven days a week to commute anywhere around the city. It's only about 15 minutes straight shot between the two campuses and we're right off of both train stops. So um, it's, it's really easy to commute. There is also housing on both campuses. Um, there is one option downtown at the Loop and then the remaining options are on Lincoln Park campus. So I'd say for incoming freshmen, it is more popular to live on campus um, in Lincoln Park because that's where more of the options are. You can see all of our different uh, blueprints, floor plans um, at our housing website too. So you can uh, see which style you would wanna live in, where you might wanna live in. So I definitely recommend checking that out as well. It's not required that you live on campus any of your years, but it is an option. And then lots of things going on off campus, of course, in the, um, you know, in the big city, Chicago. Students get a lot of free and discounted tickets to things all over the city too, like uh, Cubs and Sox games, Sky Deck tickets, Broadway shows, even just your local movie theater passes. And you have that venture that will take you anywhere you need to go essentially. And then of course on campus, always things going on too. We have tons of different clubs and organizations, extracurriculars you could get involved in. Um, also students, you know, our Office of Student Employment, or sorry, involvement often hosts, you know, famous guest speakers, networking events, uh, open mic nights, things like that. So definitely a lot going on. And then also um, being that we're in the heart of Chicago lends itself to a lot of career opportunities. So we have a wonderful career center who will help with resumes, cover letters. They'll help you search for internships and jobs. And then just wrapping up here a little bit about steps to apply. We are through the Common app. Uh, there's no application fee and um, we are a test optional school. We've been test optional for about 10 years now. So if you uh, don't really find, you know, uh, your scores to reflect your strength as a student, you don't have to submit those and we still look at every application holistically. Um, all students are also considered for merit based scholarships, which typically range from 15 to $24,000. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our office and I'll wrap up now. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Um, we do have a few minutes left, very limited time, but I want to um, see if we can get to one um, question as part of our Q&A portion of the webinar. So I'll ask if all the uh, representatives can turn on their videos at this time, uh, mute themselves, and we'll go ahead and get started if you could answer um, quickly, but we would love to hear from everybody. Um, and the first question is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Again, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll go ahead and get started in the order in which you all presented it. I'm Derek Kiefer with UTI. Uh, I would certainly recommend you go visit the college that you're most interested in. Go see it, make sure you feel like you belong there because you're gonna be spending some good time and money there. So it's really, uh, some things look better on paper and than in person and you just need to go see it. That's my biggest piece of advice. Thanks. I would agree. I think definitely taking visits um, to the colleges that you're interested in and also making sure that you ask questions. Yeah, echo that. Visit more than once. I think visiting twice is a good idea if you're able. And then also, I know it's really stressful, but just try not to be super anxious about it because you're going to end up where you're supposed to. Uh, everything, echo that. Uh, the other thing I would just say is make sure that uh, you're not applying to every college under the sun. Keep it to your A college, your B college, maybe a safety net. And also to, to lump in with that is don't, don't let price be a deterrent though. There's plenty of scholarships out there, not only from the universities you're applying to, 
but outside scholarships too. And if you take the time, you'll be surprised to find how much resources are out there utilizing the admissions counselor and other resources to find the money to afford a college education. I would say uh, keep your options open and certainly spend some time thinking about your essay. Don't wait till the last minute. Yeah, I would echo all of that, having fun, keeping your options open, also being open to explore. There's lots of different majors out there you might not even be aware of until you get there. So, you know, positive attitudes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, very quick. Um, really appreciate it. And thank you for all your advice. It's, it's always great to hear um, from those who are working directly in schools, um, in colleges and universities. So thank you to all our presenters tonight. And thank you all for joining us. Um, as we close, there'll be a very quick survey that will appear. It's a four question survey. If you don't mind taking a moment to fill that out, your feedback is really helpful and greatly appreciated. There are more sessions happening. So feel free to sign up for more sessions um, where you registered for this one. And then lastly, this recording will be available at strivescan.com backslash Illinois. And just a reminder that all uh, sessions are being recorded. And so feel free to check them out. Again, thank you all and have a great night.